The Metamorphosis is a novella published by Czech writer Franz Kafka in 1915. An early example of Kafka's signature absurdism, the story is about a salesman, Gregor Samsa, who awakes one morning to find himself transformed into a giant insect. While Kafka's description of the insect has been translated in various ways, it is often rendered as a cockroach. Today, The Metamorphosis is recognized as one of Kafka's most influential works. Gregor Samsa awakes one morning to find himself transformed into an enormous insect. Examining his body, Gregor finds that he cannot turn over onto his belly and begins thinking about his job as a traveling salesman, which he finds stressful due to his tyrannical supervisor. While Gregor wishes he could quit, he cannot do so until he has paid off the debt owed by his parents to his supervisor. Gregor begins to contemplate going to work, but realizes that he has missed his alarm and is already running late. Soon, Gregor's mother realizes that he is still at home and calls up to him. But when Gregor answers, he finds that his voice has taken on a strange undertone, which he describes as a horrible twittering squeak. Before long, Gregor's father and sister, Greta, attempt to enter his room, but the door is locked. They plead with Gregor to open it. Just then, the doorbell rings. Gregor's supervisor has come in person to check on him. Annoyed, Gregor finally manages to swing himself out of bed and onto the floor. Still, Gregor can't open his door, as his hands have been transformed into insect legs. Outside the room, Gregor's parents plead with his supervisor, reasoning that Gregor must be ill. Unassuaged, his supervisor reminds Gregor that his position at the company is vulnerable, as his work has been poor lately. Gregor attempts to communicate through the door, but again finds his speech distorted and incomprehensible. Powerless to allay the hysterics outside, Gregor becomes determined to unlock the door. He finally manages to open it. At the sight of Gregor's transformed body, his supervisor flees the house, ignoring Gregor's attempt to communicate that he is willing to come back to work. His parents are similarly horrified, and his father drives Gregor back into his room with a cane, injuring Gregor's side. Gregor awakes at twilight to the smell of food and realizes that Greta has brought him milk and bread. But when he attempts to eat it, Gregor is repulsed by the taste. Later, Greta brings him rotten food scraps, which Gregor consumes happily. In order to spare her the sight of his repulsive form, Gregor begins a routine of hiding under the couch while Greta brings him scraps. Since Gregor is unable to communicate with his family, no one speaks to him directly. Instead, he listens to their conversations through the door. He is ashamed to learn that his family is concerned about their financial situation now that he can't work. Gregor also learns that his father and sister will not permit his mother to visit him. Gradually, Gregor accepts his new form and begins to crawl around on the walls for entertainment. Noticing this, Greta enlists her mother to help clear away some of the furniture in George's room, hoping to give him more space. But Gregor can't help but feel disturbed by the changes to his room and comes out of hiding to protect a picture that he had hung on his wall prior to his transformation. Seeing him, his mother faints. Greta searches for medicine to revive her mother. When Gregor follows her to the kitchen, Greta is startled and runs back to Gregor's room, trapping him outside. Gregor is hurt at the realization that Greta has turned on him too. Soon, his father returns home and begins throwing apples at Gregor, one of which lodges in his back, nearly crippling him. 
As he loses consciousness, Gregor hears his mother begging her husband to spare her son's life. In the wake of Gregor's injury, the family becomes more accepting of him, leaving his door open in the evenings. Still, the family is exhausted from the jobs they've taken to get by, and the house grows silent and dismal. The family begins to neglect Gregor, and Greta barely bothers to feed him. Still, Gregor dreams of sending Greta to the conservatory so she can study violin. In order to supplement their income, the family takes on three lodgers whose excess furniture is moved into Gregor's room, leaving him barely any room to move. He stops eating almost entirely, and the door to his room is kept closed in an attempt to hide him from the lodgers, who are domineering and rude. One day, the lodgers see Gregor and give their notice, refusing to pay for the time they have boarded there. Greta finally begs her parents to get rid of Gregor. If it were really him, she reasons, he would have left of his own accord long ago. Suddenly, Gregor realizes that he feels only love for his family and must leave them alone. He returns to his room, waits until sunrise, and dies. To mourn his passing, the family takes the day off work kicks the lodgers out, and goes for a stroll. The weight lifted, they discuss Greta's marriage prospects and contemplate their bright futures now that Gregor is gone.